I want to show you how to make a reversible scrunchy bandana and also I'm going to answer some of your most frequently asked questions about creating them. Um, I have already cut out my two patterns. I'm going to use the stars and this cute, cute rainbow. Y'all, this is that patio fabric that I was telling you guys about. I was telling y'all that I, I will create a bandana out, out of almost anything. And I love, 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 love their prints. So, had to get that one for this. And I've already cut out the scrunchy piece and the elastic piece. So now, now it's time to sew. Okay, now to get the best, best looking scrunchy bandana, you need to iron out your pieces because wrinkly pieces is not going to sew easy and it's not going to look good. So make sure you iron out your fabric before and then also after you sew your scrunchy bandana because afterwards that's how you set your seam so okay you're going to put the pretty sides together and then sew on the wrong side you're going to sew at the top up here and then at the bottom down here and leave the sides open so we're going to sew that and then the scrunchy piece let me take off my elastic. So for the scrunchy piece, you're gonna fold it inward and you're gonna sew right here. Now, my sewing seam is one fourth, cause I totally forgot to mention that in my pattern, but it is one fourth seam. So let's sew. Okay, so now we gotta take our scrunchy piece and turn it inside, well, right side out. Okay. Oops. It's about to lose it. And you take your elastic. Now, I always use a safety pin. You stick it in. And now we're gonna sew right here and then on the opposite side too. Now, and how much, well how to line the elastic up, you put it right here like where the fabric is, you pretty much put it right there. And I'm gonna sew right about right there. So it'll still be about one fourth too. Okay, so that piece, well that side is done. And so now we reach for the safety pin, scooch it on up. Shimmer it on out. Okay. And then take it on out. And make sure that your seam is lined up. So, okay, well, my seam is facing upward. So, make sure it's still facing upward. And it is. I say it's fine if it's turned, but it looks nicer if it's going one way versus it all being turned one way. So, And do the same thing. We're going to sew about right there. Just make it line up. Okay. Okay, and the scrunchy piece is done. 
cut my threads. Okay, so now I have my pieces sewn. Now, well, the scrunchie piece is already finished. Now it's time to flip the bandana inside, well, right side out. And I always cut this little corner piece right here because I, I never liked how it bulged up when you turn it inside out. Well, without doing it. So, just take it. And then this is the time, like if you're just starting out, you'll make sure that your fabric is actually sewn good. Cause I know when I was starting out, it would be holes all down here. Cause some way, somehow my fabric wasn't lining up, but so you'll just examine just to make sure your seams and stuff look good. And they do. Yep. Okay. Now, this is where, this is where you will iron, guys. You will iron it. You will iron all this right here to help set the seam because it makes it easier for the next step. So, yeah. So, you will iron this. Okay, so I'm going to use my heat press to iron this bandana. So, you want to make sure that the seams are out because if not, It'll, if you iron it like this, it'll make your bandana look smaller than what it is. So make sure your seams are out. So just want to bring them out as far as they can go. Same up here. Yep. I'm just gonna press one side. And do the same thing for the other. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Do it just like that. And then also, don't forget your top now because your top, if it's not right, it's going to take away from the appearance of your bandana. It can be like that. So you want to push it all the way out the same way. Just make sure. Just push it all the way out. And now we want to do the same thing. Press the top. All right, so now the next thing, the next step is to tuck in your side. So you're gonna tuck in just a tad bit, just a little bit. Tuck them in maybe, that's maybe like half an inch y'all. So maybe tuck it in a half an inch. You just wanna tuck it in enough to where you can sew this on without it without um, one piece sticking out and it not blending right. So that right there, that's good. So yeah, that's about, it's folded in, it's about right there, y'all. So. Then this fabric, because it's so tough, I'm gonna go ahead and iron this side so it can stay. Cause this fabric is, um, it's, yeah, it's tough, a little bit stubborn. But it's sturdy, though. That's why I like it. It's sturdy. And when you're creating dog stuff, you want to get a sturdy pattern. Because, you know, like, our fur babies are so rough. They're so rough on their gear. And so you want to create, you know, a sturdy, quality product. So so do the same thing. So I tucked it in about half an inch. And then I'm going to press it down as well. And then I'm time to sew. So, okay, now, back to the sewing machine, y'all. Okay, so now it's time to add our scrunchie piece to our bandana. Now, 
how much of it do you tuck in? I only need to put just a tad bit, just a tad bit, y'all. Okay, so you'll put in maybe, say about, yeah, almost about a half to maybe like where, where it folds at, almost to like halfway. Yeah, it's like halfway. It's where I got the elastic meeting at. So it's, I'm gonna sew right, right there. And then make sure your seams is how you, however you want it. If you want it turned up or turned down, I think with this one we're gonna turn it down. So I'm gonna flip it. Around. And let's sew. So same seam. It's gonna be one fourth. Snip away everything else. Snip, snip. I got something on the back. Yep, snip. Okay. That's probably from the inside, but that's okay. Snip. We're gonna do the same thing. Make sure that it's not turned, it's not flipped because it can be like this. If you're trying to sew it, make sure it's straight. The elastic is straight because if not, you're gonna have to undo it and then do it again. So, the same thing, we're gonna tuck in the same amount, so it's gonna go in and it stops, it stops about there, it stops about there. So, I'm gonna sew about there. So, make sure you're definitely sewing your elastic in because if not, as soon as you pull at that bandana, the last is gonna come flying out. So let's sew. Okay, and now we're gonna sew a top stitch on it. Now this part is totally optional. I just wanna show you how to make your scrunchy bandanas pop. Um, and also it gives it a different, a different look. It's kind of tough to sew because the bandana is a circle, but it's going to be really, really cute, I promise. It's so cute. It's going to be worth it. have sewn on the top stitch and I think it's so it's so cute it gives the scrunchy bandanas just a different appeal to them so oh and 
after I finish sewing each one, I also give them a, a cute little pull just to make sure that I caught the elastic really good. But that's it, y'all. This is how you make a reversible scrunchie bandana. And if you have any more questions, you can definitely drop them below. And also, I have a page on my blog that's full of your frequently asked questions. And I'll also put that link in the description in case you want to check that out. But thanks so much for watching, y'all. Hope you have a great day.